Ah, oh, back in the game. The recording seems to be functioning quite well. I'm pleased with that. So let's start with the uh, mother hall. Nothing we can do until we have completed this. Up the volume a bit. So it was more than a handful of Skager, like I thought. Orders are to get the hell out of the halls, and that's fine with me. We'll move east, but we'll have all those damn doors to cover. This could get ugly fast. Uh, freeze the designated exit. Picture condition. One marine must reach the exit area marked by the red box. And Brad can pick you. Yeah, try to keep every unit alive. That's that's good advice. Look at the tips. You can open the doors if the unit in unit is next to it and facing it. Okay. You can open the chest. Keep an eye on the ventilation ducts. They could allow for more than just stale air. Hmm. Don't hesitate at the third door. You should reach the exit quick. Quick. Yeah, this is sort of uh, giving you an advice. Position units next to and facing the door. Rest for one turn. Open the door using the hand icon. Then go to defense mode. So I think we will we'll. we'll Read the tips throughout the game, but you, if you want to figure things out on your own, everything, then you might want to at least try the mission once first before reading the tips. There's the exit. Do we see anything of interest? Part today from this. So let's take a closer look. Our starting position is fairly safe. There's one green box here that we will go. These are spawning locations for the enemies. Green boxes are potentially of minor value, potentially of extremely, extremely high value, so as a general rule we'll go for each and every one of them. What's up? Oh. So just yeah, opening the sure. door cost, yeah it's an action point. Always ready, sir. Nice place you got here. Alright, sir. In position, sir. No problem. Here. What's happening, sir? Are you guys can sir. cover for him. There is no spawning spot here, so I have to. This is the only route we can take. All right, sir. There won't be Roger, new enemies sir. here. Yes. No, they don't come from uh, thin air. There's always a falling spot. On the other hand, that isn't active yet. It'll open before it will go active. So there's a clear indication that you know you know to expect the enemy. Move in right. the 
yet. We'll let the enemy come to us. Okay, West is getting all the experience now. Bit of a problem. Always ready, sir. He's oh. running. It's a problem because the experience is given unevenly and he's running out of ammunition. And it's preferable for us that everyone has a little bit of ammo compared to that one guy has basically wasted all of them. And also close these doors, so we'll do exactly that. At least we, we, we want to secure our rear. What's here? Excellent. 50 equipment points. Always ready, sir. Nice place you got. What I'm guessing is going to happen is once we open this door, all these vents will open and start spewing new units. It's also important to notice that we don't have to get everyone here, we just need to get someone here, press in turn, and that's our victory. So we might do something different here. That is basically leave one guy here to kill these sure. spawning here. I think Maxon has to be the guy to run for the run for the goal. He probably won't make it on the first turn. In position, sir. No problem. Here we are. B, sir. Full Here. rest. Oh, again, right. rest. Okay. We want everyone to be in top condition when we start. We right. have to wait sure. for the enemy to come to us. Yeah, where's this out of ammo? We'll handle these guys in melee. And thanks to the advanced combat gun, Brad is more than capable of handling them. No yeah, I don't think this will work. Not well at least. We might have to load the game. We are basically now stuck here. Ah, uh, yeah, this this basically. Yeah, uh, we should have run when we opened this. I'm going to load. No problem. Need to handle this differently. Here. In position. Great. All right, sir. Always ready, sir. West has to be the guy who runs. Nice place you got here. What's up? He's the best guy for that. Sure. He's, he has the most experience from this mission. He has the least amount of ammunition. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Definitely has to be him. We'll wait. Rest for this turn. What's happening? 
Okay, and then we'll save. So I don't have to redo all that crap. Really? Sure. you need to do is run. You need to cover for him. Oh shit. Okay, he wasn't injured too badly so that doesn't matter. One point of Everything damage, that's works. nothing. Really? Sir, that's one down. Ready. Yeah. Could you He'll provide shit? cover Sorry. and you will run. Oh shit. That's bad. Yeah, we need to, we need to load. All right, sure. Mm, this is no problem. Yeah, I'm fairly new to this system again, so I'm making a lot of mistakes. Mm. But this is a good learning experience because you need to go for the. Go for the goal. Me, sir. Yes. In position. Oh. Go for the objective. Ignore really? everything else. And you need a little bit of a luck. You have bad luck and can't kill the guys attacking your advance, advance Already, soldier. There's nothing really that you can do. We could take a little bit of a defensive stance here, basically having this guy also defend yes. himself and slowly move Ready forward, defending. That's See how well that works. There's a limited number of enemies that can spawn a single turn. And we are gaining experience from that, so actually it's quite welcome that we're getting those kills. I can now end this, not quite on this turn, but on the next turn. Uh, we'll definitely start moving away from here. Uh, yeah, you are going to have to provide some cover and you will be if we move here yeah we have to move more otherwise we can't end this on the following turn it, hopefully we can kill one of them yeah we're out of ammo ah oh, that's nice What's up? now you are out of ammo you have three shots, you have four shots. So that's another co consideration to keep in mind. Ammo can and will run out, so we can't keep on doing this. While we're doing this now, it's because we can milk some experience out of these. And that's totally worth it. Ready. In position. complete. Ah, oh, 18 kills, zero losses. And we got 50 equipment points. So, well for us. Also, our kills are fairly even, 1099. So, it was worth it to sort of drag it out, drag things out a little bit more. 
And another situation, okay, another briefing. We have options to take. It, it will, these options can be in quite impactful. They can, for example, determine how many soldiers you can get in your squad. So there's n they're not just a different type of mission. You will want to think a little bit what you want to do. Functional Alpha, uh, a battlefield. I don't think I'll do the rather word cutscene yet or the mission selection, but I do want to basically do a mission and then do some kind of a your basic squad management after that. So when we start a new video, we can start it from actually doing things. So let's take a look at the battlefield. A lot of death thingy. New type of alien. I don't think we gotta level up new. No. But new weapon, sniper rifle. Elegant, strong weapon, long range, good firepower for more Skager. Uh, this is uh, range 1 to 30. I think the advanced combat gun has like 1 to 10. So a sniper rifle is actually a superior choice in almost every sense. Standard armor, light stimulant. Ammo pack, server system, small medkit. Yeah, these are all good stuff. A server system is uh, extra action point. Ammo pack basically doubles your ammunition. Light stimulant can be stimulants can be used once per mission, and the light stimulant will provide uh, uh, one extra action point for one turn. So. I think stimulants and med kits use the same skill set. So, can we get one for our medic? No, we need more and more skill points. That's battle fitness. Uh, that's not a bad investment, but we can't afford it now. Because it'll, battle fitness also allows us to get better armor. Look at the servo system. That's a very good. Yeah, technical 2, battle fitness 2. This is pro one that you want to everyone to have. It's too valuable to ignore. There's no way we're gonna are able to afford that for a long time. Uh, plane thrower. Yeah, we can't get it to our heavy weapon guy either. Uh, requires 3 heavy weapon range 1 to 4 damage 10 very short range with limited ammo uh, but the ammo count doesn't show here but I'll believe that heavy impact lays down a carpet of fire in B mode uh, so basically shoot at a target or blockade of passage or a section of the map so this is an area of effect control weapon very powerful also it's something like three times more powerful than a advanced combat gun and one point extra on top of that nah. Very interesting choices or weapon options, but we can't afford any of them, so no point staring at them. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll end it here next time. We'll go to the briefing and see what all these, both of these options are all about.